All right, hey guys. Um, so I had filmed my what I got for Christmas haul, and I said that I would put up another haul because um, I did do a little bit of shopping after Christmas. Um, so I figured I'd put that up because I don't really shop too much, but recently I really did, so I figure I'd take advantage and I'd post a haul because I really love watching these. Um, so I figured, you know, I'm going to film one. Sorry my hair is like a rat's nest. I just wanted to get it out of my face. Um, and if you hear anything over there, that's my little one. She's playing with Legos, so um, you might be hearing some baby talking. Okay, so let's just jump right in. The first, the first thing I bought was I went a little bit crazy during the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale, and I think they might still be having it, but... Um, I always wait until whoo, I always wait until they have their sales um because their their underwear is so nice but it's so overpriced so I always wait anyway so I got like a handful I just got a ton of underwear um and I'm just I'm gonna insert pictures of me wearing um each one so that you can see right here psych I'm a lady you guys are gross um underwear is kind of weird to show on camera but I like I did get like some really cute ones but that's all you're gonna see. So. Okay, the next place I went, I went to Michaels because I love Michaels. I love arts and crafts. I love you know journals. I love everything. But I went specifically because for the past couple months I've been seeing this like journal notebook, and I've been wanting to get it every time, um, but just something stopped me from getting it. Um, but then I went back and I got it because it looks so like Pirates of the Caribbean or just reminds me of mermaids with like the octopus. I went back one day and they were, all of their journals were $2, I think. So I got two. I got this one um, and it's just a notebook on the inside, you know, just like a notebook. Um, I'm using this one right now to kind of take down videos I want to do and things like that. And then I got this one and it looks like it's like a cherry brown kind of like faux leather and it's like what is that called embossed I guess with like a floral pattern on the corners it has this little elastic and again it's just a notebook um but I really I really like this because even though I love like saving things in my phone and things like that I really do love actually you know writing um so then I I got those in one trip and then I went back to Michael's because I had read online that Betsy Johnson had a line of stationery at Michael's. I was like, oh my gosh, because I love Betsy Johnson, you know, her kind of more tame stuff. But I got these two pins. They're really, really obnoxious, but they're really cute. Um, this is like a corset and a tutu and it's the same top as her tutu perfume. I'm sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder. Um, and then this one's just... Um, a floral print pin with um, just like a rose on top and these were only like a couple dollars and um, I used you know one of their 40% off coupons like so that's one reason I got them her stationery was really cute um, kind of like similar prints but I didn't really fall in love with anything um, there's stationery and note cards and pens and she had um, tumblers those cups and those were really cute but they looked kind of I don't know they looked kind of cheap like they wouldn't last very long um, but yeah you can find her stuff in like the deal aisle where it has you know different characters like Hello Kitty and Star Wars um, you know kind of like the the bargain aisle I guess she has like a whole rack in there so I got those to write in my journals because I thought they were really cute the next thing is Sephora and one of the things isn't in here because I've um, been using it um, it's, I got the Anastasia or Anastasia uh, Clear Brow Gel, and I'm really, I'm really liking it so far because I don't really fill my eyebrows in so much, but I do like to um, keep them in place because mine are always wild anyway. I'm not like a big eyebrow fanatic. That could change. Anyway, the other two things I got, I got a NARS Larger Than Life Lip Gloss, and this one is in Rouge Tribal. And my favorite type of red lips are kind of deeper red lips, like um, almost maroon. And I was just immediately attracted to this color. I've got similar lip glosses from MAC, but when I swatched these, um, let me see. When I swatched this one, it, it's, it is like really different than the ones that I have. The ones I have are more like purpley. This one's like a true um, maroon, I guess with gold flecks, I would say, if you can see that. I'll try to wear it in like a, you wanna see? Yeah. 
Mm. It's pretty, huh? So, and then I got this I actually went in there for, and I was really excited Mama, because okay. you want to see here. Look at this. Be good girls. Um, when I went in there, all their perfumes, um, they were taking the Christmas ribbons off because it was after the holidays. Um, so I snatched one real quick before, you know, they got the ribbons off just because I think it's cute. But I got this perfume. It's the, uh, how do you pronounce this? Givenchy, I think. It's the Dahlia Neuer perfume. It's the, the Black Dahlia perfume. Um, it's really, really, I don't know, I guess the word will be lovely. It's really, really nice. Hold this baby. But um the packaging is really classic. Um you know, just really it looks really nice in the vanity. The scent is it's not for everybody. It's definitely like an older kind of mature scent. Um one spray of this will last you all day. The scent will not come off. It's really, really floral. I mean it's kind of I guess it's one of those old lady scents, but I, I love like old lady scents. It's really, really strong floral. You wanna smell? Mmm. Ooh, careful. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting this for a really long time, and I had gotten a a gift card from my brother-in-law and his lady, and I was so excited because I was like, you know what? I've got you know store credit there, and I've got between this gift card, and I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna finally get that perfume. So I did. And then I went to my um, CCO. Let me wipe that off. I went to my um, cosmetics company outlet, and I went there three or four different times. The first two times I bought foundation, and both of the times the foundation broke me out. So I had to go and I had to return it. So I, I actually went to um, my Bloomingdale's just to get my regular uh, MAC Pro Longwear. I'm in NC30. I got that just to... Um, just as I was just trying out too many that were just not reacting well with my skin, so I was like, I'll just go back to what I know I love. I'll just get another one of those, because it lasts forever, too. Um, anyway, but then when I did return the other two foundations, I couldn't get my money back. They only gave me store credit, so I picked up two things. I picked up this MAC bronzing powder. Does anybody remember what color? I guess I could just Google it. Um, but this collection with kind of the bronze packaging, it has like the purple inside. I just think it's so pretty. But the packaging, like, on the actual compact is even prettier. It's like that soft, soft plastic. Um, but anyway, I'm sorry. This is... Maybe I'll help you. Hold on. This is a bronzing powder in soft sand. You did it? Turn it upside down. Dump it out. Careful. I'll help you. I'll help you. One second. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, even though I'll probably edit that, so... Anyway. I got, I'm sorry, I don't know if I said, it's the bronzing powder in soft sand. It's a really nice, um, warm brown shade, and it's got some shimmer in it, but once it's on your skin, it's just like a sheen. Um, I don't use this for contour, because I don't really contour that much, but I'll use it just to kind of bronze up my cheeks. I'm wearing it today. Um, I never really know if you can tell on camera. Um, sometimes I can't really tell when I'm wearing bronzer, but I really liked this color and I really wanted something from this collection because I just love the packaging. So when I saw that they had this at my CCO, I was so, so, so excited. But then I got um, something else when I returned, the second foundation. Oh, and P.S. the foundations that didn't work for me were um, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It was just way too heavy. Um, it just irritated my skin. And then surprisingly, the MAC um, Studio Fix Fluid reacted the same way with my skin. It was just so thick, and I've tried almost every foundation that MAC makes, and I've, I've never had um, a reaction like that. Hold on, baby. But then the second thing I got was also from MAC. Hold on, baby. It is the um, Volcanic Ash Exfoliator, and it's the, it's kind of the black, baby, here. It's um that, you know, black cream. I think I've tried this before in the past, but I, I really can't remember. But it just looks like, hmm, poop, I guess. Um, but it's just black. Um, I haven't used this yet because I had it in, like, my big bag of stuff to haul, and I kind of forgot about it. Um, but I'm definitely going to try this again, maybe. I think I might have used it in the past. But um, I'll see how that goes because I was on the market for 
something for my skin lately because my skin's just been really um, acting up. I have oily skin, um, but usually it's not super sensitive, but it's been really sensitive lately, so I got that. You did it. And then that is all I got with me at like cosmetics wise. So next I got um, two things from a website um, based in the UK. It's called Misguided and it's kind of like an ASOS. Um, they usually have a lot of really good sales. The only thing I don't like is the shipping. I've ordered from them three times now and I've had an issue with the shipping every time um, just just because it w it's taken a long time to get to me. Um, but I guess that's just because, you know, they're in the UK and I'm in the US and I guess I'm just spoiled with ordering online, getting stuff immediately, um, that I'm just impatient. It might just be that. But anyway, I got two things. This first thing I got specifically with the plans to alter it already. It's a dress, but it's, it's just going to be a skirt when I'm done with it. It's this really gorgeous, let me move that really gorgeous floral. I mean, if you don't know already, I'm like obsessed with floral. It's really gorgeous floral print. And it's, it's a skater dress. And it has like this obnoxious cutout right here, which, um, once it's on, I'm sure it would look like really cute, but I, I don't really like how the top is. It's really tight on me. Um, you know, I get kind of suffocated in it. But when I saw this, I was like, oh, that would be gorgeous just as like a skirt, like a little skater skirt. You can't really tell. It's just like a little skater skirt. I'm just going to have it um, cut right there and then just, um, you know, reattach the zipper in the back. But the print is just gorgeous and the fabric is really nice. It feels really like luxurious. Like it's probably just some type of, I can't find the tag. Probably just some type of synthetic polyester material, but it just feels really nice and it's like, it's really like shiny and glossy. Sorry. Then the second thing um, that I got from them is a play suit, and these are becoming really popular, um, but I was on the hunt for one with sleeves. I wanted a long sleeve, like little play suit, and I, I'm just in love with this one. So. It has, it's really low in the front, but once it's on, you know, that covers, and I'm actually going to place a safety pin in it because, you know, I don't want my ladies popping out, but this is the print. These are the sleeves. It's just another floral print. So it's long sleeved, and then it just goes down, and it looks like it's a dress, but it's shorts. You can see that. It's hard to show. Yeah, it's just, they're shorts. So once you, so I love this because you can, I can wear it right now with, you know, a pair of tights under it and some heels, um, or, and you can wear it in like the spring or the summer just bare legged. I just thought it was so versatile and I guess you can get a better idea of the print if I show you the back of it. I just, I love it. Um, the material's not, <laughs> it's not like, send you back there. It's not the greatest. Um, it's just cotton, I guess. My baby. Um, but I'm really excited to wear it. You could wear it with like a cami underneath, but I don't really like how that looks. Um, good girl. I don't really like how that looks with, um, you know, just like a cami. I don't know. Maybe. I'll probably change my mind. I don't know. And then two more things. I got these off of, ooh, careful bubbies. Got these off eBay because I follow some really, really awesome people on Instagram, and I'm just constantly, like, obsessed with, um, you know, different people's style and stuff, but, um, one of the girls that I follow, you did it, you did it, one of the girls I follow on Instagram, um, posted a picture of the Jeffrey Campbell, like, Lita's, but the ones with all the, like, spiked straps, and they're just so amazing, and, you know, I went on the hunt for them, and they're, a lot of money so I was like eh. so you know I did a bunch of browsing on eBay and I found a shoe that was like really up my alley um they're these Mary Janes um they're these really really soft black faux leather and then the back is um it's all like glittered and it's spiked so they're really adorable um and they were really inexpensive and I was gonna go for a more expensive pair like a more expensive brand 
but I figure um, I reinforce a lot of my inexpensive shoes anyway, so I figured like, you know, I just take care of them if there is anything wrong with them. But I like playing around with the spikes and stuff, like trying to get them off. Um, they're in there like really securely, like surprising. You okay? Be careful. <laughs> they're like surprisingly um, sturdy. So um, I'm really excited. And once your foot is in there, all this pink is covered. So all you see is the black. And then it has like the, the hot, <laughs> hot baby. It has the hot pink sole. Um, they're amazing. And I can't wait to wear them. The last thing is this bag. I also got this from eBay because I've really been wanting like a leopard bag. But I don't want, I fell in love with um, the Michael Kors. I think it's the Gia maybe um one of those bags that's like animal printed um, and i fell in love with it but i'm not gonna spend that much on a bag i don't have that much to spend on a bag so thank you baby put it right there um but i found this online and it came from china <laughs> um it's this leopard print kind of tote bag and then it's got all these um rivets on it these studs but then the back side is just the leopard print um it's a little, it's a little bit tacky. The tacky. Yeah, baby. It's a little bit tacky, but um, I still think it's, I still think it's cute, and I really liked it because even though it's a tote, it uh, zips closed, so you know it's still like a purse, and it's just crazily roomy, and it also comes with um another sh a shoulder strap, and I like. I like how bags look when you're carrying it by the straps, but then you have the shoulder strap kind of hanging. I think that's really cute. Um, but I always go for really big purses because my purse also doubles as like a diaper bag. Um, not so much for diapers, but usually for um, everything else that I need for my little mini-me. Um, so yeah, that's that. And um, that was really inexpensive too. If I can still find these things, I will make sure to put the links in the description box. Um, I'm pretty sure everything is still available. Um, yeah, so I hope this video isn't too long. I'm going to try and edit. No, I'm probably not going to edit it, but, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry, you know, the lighting, if my hair is wonky, but I figured I had my makeup on and I had a little bit of extra time. So I figured I'd film this video because I really wanted Mama to get it up crazy. anyway. You're pretty. Oh, okay. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. I might be wearing the same outfit because I might record another one today if I have the time. So we'll see about that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.